Greetings to you all. Class 6, Third Term, Unit 1 Prose. Who owns the water? So in this particular lesson, we are going to see the value of water and how we should use it. So once upon a time, on the outskirts of a dusty village, so outskirts means outside. Dusty little village. Outskirts means Gramatha vittu velila. Dusty means Puldi. Doosi. Village. So in outside. A tiny bird searched her place to lay her eggs. So there is a little bird bird who is searching a place to lay her eggs. The land was parched and dry. Parched means without water, with a lot of, uh, it is parched. There is no water at all. So dry. Parched naka varandu nilam tanni lamal silipillada varandu poirkara nilam parched. And there wasn't a bush or tree inside. So normally birds lay egg in the trees, in the branches, twigs. And the pakkama or a tree, or a maramo, or a chediyo, or a pudar kudula mutta pudradika and the paraviki. Okay. Since there is no bush or tree in its site, it plant it will lay somewhere here itself. Finally, in desperation, it means out of desperation. He was so upset, disappointed. The little bird discovered a shallow depression in the ground. One shallow, slight depression was there. So he thought, this will be the right place. Using the claws to remove the stones, to loosen up the packed earth. So this is sand only, no? So it is very tight. There is no water at all. So it is using the claws to loosen the earth. She broadened the hole and there underneath the hot sun she laid her eggs. Sutterikira veilayum oru pirthama angaye oru chinna kuli nondittu adoda muttaya and the ground laye podrudhu. The bird the sun is so hot. She didn't mind. There is no other go. There is no other trees nearby. So what she did? There itself. Underneath the sun, she laid her eggs. The eggs hatched. And the good mother protected. The good mother, what she did? She protected the eggs. In the mother bird, chin papa kuririella, nalla anba pasama pathete, adu parakura varikyo, safe vichirkanga. Okay. They exhatched and the good mother protected and fed her babies until they were big enough to fly away. So the babies also grew bigger and the babies flew. In the bird, mutapote, angi kunjilam poriche. And there, here, our story would have ended. Okay, No, it will not end. Except, this isn't a tale of a little bird, but a much more interesting one of the hole she used as a temporary nest. So this hole, no? It is not a hole. It is actually a nest for a bird. So, Adanala, in the hole or in the story, Inga Nikadu. It will not stop here. A hole? You may ask. What could be interesting about a hole in the ground? Well, this hole grew to be quite important, as you will discover. Ippon the hole, Inga Nikadu, 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 Inga N
this hole will grow day by day from one from some time the hole remnant remained dusty and untended until one day a passing wild boar settled his rampna enna na or animal oda back portion ukkara kudi edam adu jam nu ukkarudhu boar na ka kaattu panri kaattu panri anda kuliyila ukkarndirukudhu into the depression konnal kalichinaachu boar what it did it started to dig some more and started to lie there and the boar kaattu panni enna pannuchu and the small depression marubadi kuli thondi thondi pannikite irukudhu nalla ukkarradhukku and the kutti kuliyanadhu naalukku naal perusagudhu the pit was not comfortable and the kuli enna agudhu comfort alla adukku pattala it's not so comfortable and getting up scared and duck adu enna pannudhu and the kuli comfortable illa marubadiyum apdiye digging digging na marubadi kuli thondite irukudhu carving a pit of more hospitable proportion innum konjam kuli thondi thondi edukudhu she is digging more sand backing into his hollow he turned around a few times and with a satisfied grunt settled down to a long snooze konja kuli nalla perusa anapram adu ange paduthu thookam thoongi korattiyum putruchu a very long snooze it was too the boar turned and scrabbled in his sleep loosening the earth around his cozy dug out so dug out and the kuli laye nalla ange yungi yum thirumbi thirumbi paduthu paduthu kuli nalla perusa irchu until the fading sun and the rubble in his stomach told him it was time to get up with a mighty stretch and a final kick the hungry boar departed and day bed without backward glance appada nalla thungi korata potu mudiche he got up and slowly moved away and is that it you will inquire idoru mudinjada to which i will reply no it isn't dear one not by a long shot our story has just begun ninge ipo kekla in the story ipo mudinjada finish done no it is not over still it is there just listen innum nalla governing so appo first bird vandude ipo boar vandirukudhu so first a small hole became a little bigger so avladana story over ah no it is not over adutathu a pack of wild dogs catching the scent of boar in the wind came to the spot ipo adutha set yaar varanga na ka pack of wild dogs dogs ungalku theriyum idu kaattu la vaalra kudiya or animal okay wild dogs varudhu innum pig oda smell varudhu appdin vandhudhu where he had laid the sniffed the circle that was rich with the smell of the animal they whined and snarled and dug at the smell bringing you smell varudhe in inge thirumba thirumba adhe small first kutti kudiya irundhudhu then it will become little bigger now again and again they are digging if digging the elusive boar himself out of the ground finally realizing that there was no dinner to be found there they departed their noses and tails high in the air and in doing so they left the hole with the bigger and wider than any kuliye mattu nalla perusaakittu avangala saapadu kedaikadanaala அந்த குழியை விட்டு வேறு இடத்துக்கு மாறி போயிட்டாங்க தே ஹட் ஃபவுண்ட் அவுட் அப்படியே நல்ல நோண்டி நோண்டி த ஹோல் பிகேம் வெரி பிக் அண்ட் தென் வாட் ஆப்பன்ட் யூ வில் ஆஸ்க் டூ அதர் அனிமல்ஸ் கம் அலாங் டு 
they do indeed my child i told you the whole had a story to tell ipo kepinga story mudinjada mudiyala where animals vara poguda varalam wait not long after the rain came konja nerathla mazha vandiruchu it poured and poured and only those of us who have seen the monsoon will know what that means monsoon malakalam vandiruchu it rained without stopping for 3 days and 3 nights and the dry earth soaked in up the moisture as the hungry puppy laps up milk so in such 3 days moon nalo moon night it is raining 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 and what happens if it dry irundhali a parched land abadi varndu pona nilathila thanni vilumbodhu enagudhu it is drinking and the that soil is observing the water eppadi observe agudhu as a hungry puppy laps up milk edho oru naikutti thanni urira mari urinj edukudhu clear the whole earth smelled wet and fresh and even the normally serious looking people in the village went around with smiles on their faces so ye payment unk mala vanda pidikum illaya so here also when rain came the village people were so happy abadi or smile jolly happy sutti sutti varanga the whole earth smelled wet and fresh even the normally serious looking people abdi ummu nukra irukra makkalu they are smiling laughing and went around with smiles on the faces the hole in the ground collected the water that fell and around its edges the grass grew a brighter green soon buffaloes discovered the grassy spot and buffalo wanted to do buffaloes na yare எரும மாடு அங்கே எரும எல்லாம் வருது அது குண்டாக இருக்கும் இல்லையா ஸோ அது வந்து குழியில் பார்க்குது ஸோ இந்த குட்டி குழி பெரிய குழியாயிருச்சு இல்லையா நவ் பஃபலோஸ் வாட் அப்பண்ட் தே ஆர் கம்மிங் நியர் தே வேலூட் இன் த படி வாட்டர் டேர்னிங் த ஹோல் இன் டு மடி பிட் இது ஒரு குளம் மாதிரி ஆயிடுச்சு இப்போது குட்டியாக இருந்தது இப்போ ஒரு பஃபலோவை உள்ளே வர்றது அழுக்கு பெருசாக so they started to dance in say jump walk so what happened big thing it became a muddy pit i was not there to see but i am told that many afternoons did the buffaloes gather and thus the multitude of hooves trampling the soil the pit that was once collected the water and fell in around the edges the buffaloes gather and there's a multitude of hooves trampling the soil the pit that was once a tiny depression once upon a time munadi oru naal kutti depression a irundhathu ipo oru oru animals vandu vandu pers pers a irukkudhu widened and grew and became a little watering hole adu oru thanniyoda source ave maridichu kutti watering hole and they all lived happily ever after you will say in glee but that rarely happens in real tales my dear that is more to go you will have to wait a while idoda kadha mudiyadha nu kepinga mudiyala innu irukkudhu Okay, in a little bit of a wait. We will see the remaining part in the next episode. Let's see what we are going to do in the next episode. Bye! Courtesy Image Downloader